opportunity, as you have been told by Professor Law, I've been before Minister for Planning uh, during the coalition government of Mwai Kibaki and Raila Malodinga. And some of the issues that uh, are being talked about are very conversant because some of these are the issues that we planned through the Vision 2030. Uh, as you are aware, the Asmion government has come up with uh, a manifesto, detailed manifesto. But this is a general manifesto that affects the entire country. But there are, there are challenges in some regions because the regions are not at the same level of development. So it will require a different approach if we have to implement the manifesto as presented by His Excellency Raila. And that's why we have come up, the team has come up with specific manifesto for every region. You will find that some regions will require water immediately, while others will not require, for example, in Ukambani, the eastern part, they require water like yesterday. While western, they will require the revival of the sugar industry by yesterday, because that has been the major economic activity. Uh, because of this, it was important that we come up with a specific manifesto. We have yet to agree how this will be implemented, but we are working on a structure that will actually focus on the implementation of the manifesto, a full-time sort of structure that will coordinate with various ministries that uh, will deal with the, <coughs> the implementation, which is very, very, uh, very critical. So we intend to come up with a social and economic transformation unit that will focus on the implementation of the manifesto. Maybe just to remind you, those who are here, you know, Kenyans are good in reading newspapers, but when you give them such a document to read, it becomes a problem. So we have the Simeo 10 point action plan, and we intend to come up with a social economic transformation unit to look at the 10 commitments. And then the, co the commitments, if I can remind you, commitment number one, industrialization. One county, one product. That is critical for creating uh, quality jobs for our people. Kaz Kwawote, it is in the manifesto. Fukusanja, in your Jami, the six thousand issue. Uchumi Kwa Kinamama, focus on the women groups and empowering the women the youth empowerment, BAPA care in the health sector, with no single child, free education to every child, then water to everybody, focus northeastern, fast and, uh, and eastern, administrative continuity where we build on the past, what the gains of the past administration. Uh, we build on what they have, the gains they have, they have made, so that uh, there is continuity. And as you are aware that we have worked very closely with the current government of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. There are issues of debt. Kenyans have been talking about debt. And we do not say that debt is bad, or that there is a level of overboard. So long as that debt is used properly, 
I think there will be no problem. But this is an area that we need to look at quite initially so that we have some liquidity, flexibility to do some of the commitments that we have uh, told Kenyans that we are going to do for them, those commitments that I've just mentioned. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> it is therefore my pleasure to join you this morning as we launch the Asmio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Regional Agenda. The Asmio One Kenya Coalition plans an economic revolution for the nation when it gets into government. We are hopeful this revolution will bring together Kenyans from across the country to work together with the Asmio government for economic progress. <clears throat> this is a vision clearly captured in our national Asmio agenda. However, we also have area-specific plans for the different regions of Kenya, which we have captured in the regional agenda. We appreciate that each region has its specific identity and needs, and we have tried to address them in each of the 11 region agenda that we share here today. This promises sets out the bare minimum that the Asmio government hopes to deliver in the next five years. Alongside our national aspiration to other to offer essential health care and upper care, free and accessible education to all Kenyans, water for all, among other public goods and services that Kenyans deserve. We seek to deepen democracy and governance by working with the county government to not only deliver these services, but to do so in a transparent and accountable manner. Each of these manifestos carry the ideas, wishes, and plans, and spirit of their respective regions. From North Hall in Masabit County to Langwe Valley in Homa Bay County, from Mount Elgon in Bungoma County <coughs> to Manda Islands in Lamu County, these manifestos are outcomes of conversation between Kenyans with Asimio. They are a reflection of the memoranda that each of these regions and its people and interest groups shared with us. We in the Asimio government will seek to make policies that draw their inspiration from the immediate and long-term needs of all Kenyans. This is why the region, regional economic blocks will be a partner of the national and county governments in building up the economic revolution momentum and also sustaining it. These region, regional economic blocks should be the springboard for economic policies and programs that exploit local resources, synergies, and markets. When we in ASMIO speak of at least one industry in each county, we are referring to the huge potential that the regional economic blocks have in initiating industrialization and technological, hence economic revolution locally. 
The economic blocks should spur local development based on human, natural, and financial resources that are in the member counties. But at the same time, they will, in a, a partnership with the national government, help in planning how, how to best exploit such resources to produce goods for local consumption as well as for export. For instance, the economic blocks in Nyanza and Western regions and the Rift Valley should be able to target markets in the larger Eastern Africa community. Blocks of the coast and eastern regions should think of markets up to north in Somalia, Ethiopia, Djibouti, and also the Indian Ocean Islands. This manifesto Manifestos are a commitment to the government to the people of Kenya, nationally and locally, that Yote Awesekana, if we plan together, work together, exploit our natural and human resources maximally, produce together, promote. <laughs> Maisha ni yangu